watch, CNN tries to turn Kundi Rice into a feminist, enrages liberals with her response. On Saturday night, former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice sat down for an interview with David Axelrod on CNN's The Axe Files. While he did his best to turn her into a blubbering feminist, Rice stood her ground and issued a scathing reality check to her liberal interviewer instead. You have worked in the most exclusive male corridors of power, almost your entire adult life, said Axelrod on Saturday. I mean, for crying out loud, you were the first woman admitted to Augusta, the most exalted male preserve. Have you been exposed to harassment over the years? He asked Rice. Well, I've certainly had people say inappropriate things, Rice admitted. I've certainly had people suggest that maybe we should just go out, and you know and situations in which it was somebody more senior than I," she continued. I've never faced an explicit quid pro quo, she added. I've never had anyone do anything that I would consider assault. But I don't know a woman alive who hasn't had somebody say or do something that was inappropriate at best and aggressive at worst. Rice went on to caution feminists regarding the hash Me Too movement, saying, I think that the movement to expose these circumstances is a good thing. Let's clear the air about it. I do think we have to be a little bit careful. Let's not turn women into snowflakes. Let's not infantilize women." She continued, and what I really don't want to happen is that I don't want it to get to a place that men start to think well maybe it's better not to have women around, adding, I've heard a little bit of that, and it worries me. The term snowflake was coined by conservatives to describe those on the left who are so fragile that they may become offended for seemingly any reason whatsoever or have their delicate feelings hurt over something which, to a normal adult, would be mundane. The insult is described by Urban Dictionary this way, a very sensitive person. Someone who is easily hurt or offended by the statements or actions of others. This is a perfect way to describe many of the feminists participating in the hash Me Too movement. Unfortunately, these women have seemingly used any excuse at all to claim harassment, when in reality, the only thing they were victims of was a clumsy pickup line or an unwanted advance. To nobody's surprise, Condoleezza Rice's snowflake comment infuriated everyone on Twitter who, ironically, would fall into the category of snowflake themselves. However, she seemed to have just as many supporters. Condoleezza Rice has been breaking down barriers for women for decades, but you never hear her name touted by feminists simply because she is a Republican. While the left is busy waging hashtag wars, women like Rice are actually running the word. You don't accomplish the things Condoleezza Rice has accomplished by wasting your time whining about that one time a guy, who you didn't like, hit on you. If women really wanted to get somewhere, Wasting their time on stupid campaigns like the hash Me Too movement is the worst way to do it. Once again, the feminists of the world are standing in the way of real progress for women. This time, though, they're not just standing in the way, they're creating a real problem. Pretty soon, men won't even want to be in the same room with a woman for fear that she will, at some point, perhaps years or even decades down the road, end up accusing him of harassing her. That's not a reality I want to be a part of, but mark my words, it is a situation we will undoubtedly be faced with if these whiny feminists don't shut their traps, traps.